This house tour is brought to you by Squarespace. We're in my client Garrett's home. It's kind of a mix of traditional, but still quite contemporary. Garrett is a former client of mine and a really good friend. So I had a good sense of his wish list really before he even bought the home. So that was a really functional open kitchen, a living room that's adjacent to the kitchen so that it kind of works as a great room. And then a dining room that is more of a lounge, a bar-like space that is less for, say, a formal dinner party, more for casual drinks and just hanging with friends. And it really kind of flows from one space to the other. You enter the home and you're immediately faced with the living room. It's grounded by this quite impressive fireplace, which we've clad in a matte finished honed material, which really emulates a Nero marble look. The fireplace is flanked with two built-ins, which I wanted to recede so the fireplace is still really the moment, but the built-ins offer some great storage and a place to style, really. A lot of the furniture actually was brought from Garrett's last project and it's worked really well in here. We've got the furniture facing towards the fireplace and the television, but the conversation circle still works because we put a pair of chairs in front of these two built-ins. We added a little color with the green accent chairs, but the space is mostly black and white with some texture and then a lot of just interesting accessories. The kitchen and the living room are next to each other, so they have to relate color-wise and just overall look. Garrett knew he wanted a black shaker kitchen, which I'm a huge fan of. It's a classic look, but still feels quite contemporary. But this time we changed it up a little by adding some walnut. The walnut is not that typical mid-century walnut. It's been grayed out a little, so it doesn't feel quite as orange. We repeated the walnut on the island, as well as the shelf and the vent hood, which is enough of an accent, but just kind of adds to that more contemporary take on a shaker kitchen. We also repeated the Nero marble look on the island, which ties in the fireplace. The peripheral is in a white marble, and then we've done a white backsplash as well. It's not a pure white, it has that kind of aged, patinaed, handmade look to it, which ties into the more traditional look of the cabinetry. But overall, it's a pretty classic kitchen with some modern punctuation. So the minute you walk in the home, you're presented with the sight line directly to the back, which is the dining room and an impressive set of patio doors. The dining room is less of a dining room and more of a lounge. On one side, we have a long and quite impressive banquette with some sexy seating and a beautiful dining table. On the opposite wall is a true bar. It has a fridge, a little sink and storage for liquor and glasses and everything you need when entertaining. Although the space still works for formal dining, it has a casual coolness to it that I really love and just kind of changes the use of the space. The middle is left open, so that sight line is uninterrupted, and then each wall is flanked with a different use. The powder room is a pretty little space. We used a William Morris inspired wallpaper. It has some prettiness to it, but then it's also quite interesting. Uh, the coolest part about the powder room, in my opinion, is the black toilet. I don't know if I would have said that a few years ago, but just really cool. Like to think all of the fixtures are black, including the toilet. And Garrett's even gone as far as to finding black toilet paper. So it's just a real moment. Next to the powder room is a concealed front hall closet. Because of the style of home where you just enter, there's not really a proper foyer, we needed coat and shoe storage, so this is the perfect place to do it. It's floor to ceiling, and again, just really minimal so that it kind of just disappears. Hi, I'm Bona from House & Home. We really hope you're enjoying this house tour. We just want to take a quick minute to thank our sponsor, Squarespace. For those of you not familiar with Squarespace, it's an all-in-one, easy-to-use platform to create, manage, and market your very own website. Don't know how to code? Not to worry. Squarespace's Fluid Engine website design system allows for a simple drag-and-drop operation. Just start with one of the professionally designed templates, then customize the look and feel to suit your specific needs. Looking to sell a product or service online? Squarespace also has all the tools you need to get your online store up and running. Head to squarespace.com today to start your free trial. And when you're ready to launch, be sure to go to squarespace.com forward slash house and home to receive 10% off the purchase of a website or domain. We really wanted to maximize the landing at the top of the stairs. Garrett uses this as his home office and it's actually quite a lovely place to work because it's nice and bright even though there's no direct window. It also becomes the central hub of the second floor. It's how you access the guest bedroom, you can get into the ensuite, you can get into his bedroom as well. 
The primary bedroom started with the vaulted ceiling. That was the thing he wanted the most, to not have it feel like a small box, but to really capture all of the unused space in the attic. That obviously changes the space and then allows for things like a four poster bed and really elevates the entire look. We then decorated quite minimally in the same way that we have down here. Used a few of his pieces from his old place, including some art. It's a serene and calm place. The built-in closet is an important feature in this room. We repeated the same shaker style cabinetry that we did in the kitchen with flat front drawers, which keeps it a little more contemporary and simple. Just a nice wall of cabinetry that elevates that space and everything has a place. The ensuite is probably the most decorated room in the home. Where most of the place is white, we really kind of went for it with some color. There's this rich olive green tile, which covers the one wall and into the shower. It's a similar green to the banquette, so again, keeping that same color palette going. The floor is a simulated terrazzo. We use the same walnut on the vanity. And then just some interesting details, like the sconces on either side of the mirror are quite traditional, but then a lot of the plumbing fixtures are actually quite contemporary. What ties them together is just the repetition of the finish. They're all this warm brass, which I think looks so beautiful with all the other colors and the green and the wood tones that are in that room. We finished this project, I'd say a year and a half ago now, and it's so lovely to be back because Garrett just adds all of the little flourishes that you just really love to see as a designer. That it's actually possible to leave a place and come back and it looked better than you had left it or that you could have imagined it to look. So I'm really happy with it. I know he's really happy with it and it's just a lovely home.